Coming out of a tourism master plan, we'll know where we're going because we'll set some future benchmarks and some shared ambitions. A tourism master plan is an opportunity for the public and the private sector to really come together to understand what is the opportunity, what are the issues uh, for tourism in that destination, in that country, and to, to talk. It really gives the destination and the opportunity to step back and say, what do we want to be when we grow up? A tourism master plan, particularly for a mature city like Vancouver, is quite a novelty. It's very important in that it brings together an organization like Tourism Vancouver, who generates demand, along with the city, who actually have the responsibility for infrastructure to make sure that we can ensure we service that demand. Destinations around the world, ranging from Indonesia, South Africa, Russia, China, they are competing for the same tourists. And and, and visitors are very well versed now in terms of the product, the product quality, and, and the value of, of their experience. And if I mention five places, if I say Singapore, and I say New York, and I say London, and I say Paris, and I say Barcelona, they're world cities. So we know them when we hear them. How does Vancouver enter that, that lead? Getting to shape the future of any city is usually difficult to participate in. And through the survey that is being done as a part of this, through some of the other ways for public input, then people who care about the tourism industry or people who care about Vancouver and its future get a chance to have a say. The, the Vancouver Tourism Master Plan really is an engagement of, of the stakeholders. We've, we've spoken to more than 150 stakeholders from the public and the private sector. We're surveying thousands and thousands of stakeholders and residents to understand their issues and what are their opportunities and the prioritization of those issues and opportunities. The delivery for the Tourism Master Plan is actually a report but what we hope is that this will be a living document, there will be a living process that will become part of the institutional framework of, of tourism in Vancouver. Um, something that will help guide the planning process, that will help guide the development of new product and guide the, the investment in, in new services and resources. I think we have to realize what was, isn't, what is, won't be and we have a chance to influence what comes about. It's not so much what we do that matters, it's what we cause to make happen. And we should be thinking today about 20, 30 years down the road, because 30 years down the road, the Vancouver we have is being shaped or not shaped.